What if you could bring together the Jeep Wrangler soft top and marry that with the old school pass through design of the Chevy Avalanche, Chevy Serato EV, the Bollinger EV truck? What if you can put those two things together, make a really versatile vehicle? That's what we're talking about today. Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I just got some details from my friend Brian Medford on the Nissan it has this patent that has been going, hmm, what are they working on? This filed a patent last week at the US Patent Office. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and go through the details and I'll explain to you what the patent is for and what kind of marry these two ideas and I'll explain more details. I just finished page 18 pages of this patent document. You can find it on pickuptrucktalk.com. I'll put a link to this story in the description and in the comments. And I put a link to the patent as well. But let's start with this. It's the first image. This is a cutout. So the idea here is you have a four-person truck. They still want to keep this a body-on-frame, and I get the details how they want to do that. But they want a body-on-frame truck where the cabin and the bed are separate to sit on a frame. And they want to cut that out so you have a pass-through. So you could say if you're uh, overlanding or something or you're hunting or whatever deal, you can get out of the driver's seat, climb over the center console, go in the back and take a nap, get a beer, whatever you want to do. And they have some interesting ideas how they're going to do this because if you know anything about body-on-frame trucks, which I'm sure you do because you're watching this channel, you know there's a gap between the bed and the cab. And I'll tell you what's going on. But let's start with the soft top. Here, right here is a link to the patent. And again, we'll go through this whole patent. I have uh, yeah, all the details on this patent and what is filed and all that kind of stuff. But the uh, idea here is that we'll start with the soft top. So this soft top design is basically a series of panels. And what they want to do is they want to marry the idea of having a truck with the first tail of an SUV so that you can take these panels and put them in place and connect them. And that way you can have a covered back of the, of the vehicle. And they actually, the panel 100 is actually a rear window like you would find an SUV. So they basically take the Wrangler kind of idea where you can have this stuff pop on, pop off. Also Ford Bronco does it as well. And if you've had a Ford Bronco or have you ever been with one or Jeep Wrangler, you can, these panels are getting easier to, to pop on, pop off. And that's the idea here is you can pop these on, pop them off as you need to, open air truck when you need it, or SUV when you need the SUV portion. And so they're looking at some really rigid panels here that will attach the side walls of the bed. And then the, it'll come up and make a whole frame. Then you have these panels you can carry with you as you're driving around or you can keep them in your garage, or you, if, if you're you know, out and about overlanding, you have maybe have a sep separate section in your truck where you have them all lined up, it starts raining, whatever, you pop them on, sunny day, pop them off. It's kind of an interesting idea and really brings up versatility. Now I say Nissan Frontier, and why do I say that? Because of the, the patent drawings. That's what just, it, look, it looks like a Nissan Frontier to me. And then, so that's the idea there. So soft top, a la Ford Bronco, a la Jeep Wrangler. The pass-through, this is really interesting. And so when we come down to the images of the pass-through, it's like this. And so they're talking about having some sort of piece of a barrier that stops items from coming into the cabin from the bed, right? That will clasp off and clasp, clasp it and clasp off, easy removable. And then you can take that and move it out of the way. And then you have a system of maybe hooks for that that hangs on, or maybe that rolls up and goes on hooks. The patent's like not very clear on what they really want to do with this. We're just saying, this is our idea. We're thinking about doing. This is an idea we can have. And how do they accomplish this? How do they marry that gap between the bed and the cabin and keep things going through the bed and the cabin and keep it all kind of, well, weather tight? Well, they're proposing a seal, an elastic seal that is waterproof and water, excuse me, watertight. I don't know, waterproof, watertight. And it's thick enough that it goes between the bed and the cabin. And so you have this seal that you can walk through and walk out. And so you wouldn't have... For example, you, I mean, you wouldn't have like a roll down rear window like you do in the Tundra. You may still have a rear window here. They don't really spell it out, but you'd have this opening that you could utilize or not utilize. In this case, actually, let me let me correct myself because I'm looking at this drawing now again. I'm looking at it again. You would not have a rear window because this would be the rear window. So it doesn't even look like there's a rear window attached. So you may have a total open air freedom in this truck with this pass through with all the panels off. And then when you need to, you can close it all up, but then you keep this pass through and you only have this barrier that stops materials from going in and out of the cabin. And so as we look through this patent, which is uh, for those, it's US 11866100B2. I don't look at patents very often, so excuse me on that one, but we do know 
It's Nissan North America. Uh, Keith St. Clair is the inventor. I'm assuming he's an engineer with Nissan. Nissan North America USA filled the patent out. It was filed January 9th, 2027. They actually, interesting enough, they have a reference to how to remove and install your Jeep Wrangler soft top in the patent documents. It's, I don't know if I can highlight that, but it's, it's, it's to the right-hand side, halfway through the page. And so then they have this whole abstract, talk about different things. And they basically talk about, they want a vehicle that uh, includes a vehicle frame, a vehicle body. The vehicle body is supported by the vehicle frame. So it's a body on frame. The vehicle body is carbon and, cabin and cargo box. Cabin has seats, the, cab, the box holds materials. And they want to define a pass-through that connects a floor of the cargo box and the floor of the cabin. But they want to keep the body on frame so that way when you're off-roading, you have more twist, uh, that you can twist more, you have more of uh, uh, what they call it, rigidity. They have a terminology for this. Uh, and then you, if you're hauling stuff, you can, you're can you not putting pressure on the buttress that holds the cabin and, and the bed together like Unibody does. You still have that versatility of having the bed and cab and bed and cabin work independently. So it's a pretty interesting idea. There's 19 claims, uh, 11 drawing sheets, and so there's lots of drawings to go through. And these, that's why I was just telling you, telling you that was the those little panels that go on that. And they uh, in the patent they said we don't know if it's going to be bolts connecting this stuff or other fastening at fastenate or fasteners, excuse me, fasteners for holding this rigid materials of the frame in place. And they don't really describe what they can do with the panels, but I've seen some panels now with the Ford Bronco that just have little turns and twists. You turn these things and pops them off. So I'll be, I think they can do that. I mean, there's a lot of technology today. Don't reinvent the wheel. Could be a really simple solution. They have some drawings and showing what a body on frame is and what a traditional truck is. And then they have these panels. Now they're saying these panels here, they're saying they can roll. It looks like images are rolling up. I don't know. Maybe they roll up. Maybe they attach. In the Ford Bronco, they attach. They don't roll up. But soft top, they tend to roll up. So what's Nissan doing? It could be an interesting deal having roll up too. And then uh, we have the pass through like we described. And we have that seal that goes around with some hooks to hold that hold that up or barrier holds up with hooks or a piece of material goes in there. I'm not quite sure what their plan is with that. There is your elastic barrier. You can see the elastic barrier going around and in that cabin. And then they're talking about how it, how the, how the metals is and how it all connects in this vehicle. And you can see that barrier right there. And then looking at some more drawings, there is your elastic barrier. There's the elastic um, seal. More details on that as a design. And then looking at the the this this is like I said, that is that frame. It's a, it's a durable frame. It's got cross members built into it. You can see these cross members go across so they attach. So it's it's meant to be removable as well. It's not meant to be permanent from what I look at it, which is nice because if you decide to carry more stuff or do something different, you can take it off. You don't have to keep it keep it on the whole time. Although the pass through would be interesting. Like how do you if you take off the frame, how do you seal the cabin with that pass through? That's going to be interesting. I don't know. I mean, again, patents are just uh, far flung ideas. We're trying different things. How's it going to work out? So there's a little more imagery of this. You can see where things attach, see where things um, hook, how the design is. And then they have a whole information, all sorts of details on the old design. So I'm not going to go through details on those. I read through them all. I hope I got them mostly correct. I don't, like I said, I don't read patents very often. I think I got it close. But what do you guys think? Is this pretty interesting or not? I mean, it, it takes the truck and makes it even more versatile for different environments and different needs. But it also creates that pass through that's always open. And I wonder about, like, in a northern climate, like, it's been negative 17 overnight. I wonder how cold it would be in the cabin, heating that in the bed area. I Just lots of interesting questions. I, I do like innovation. I like different ideas. And it got me interested, and I thought it'd be interesting to you guys too. So, so I thought you guys want to check that out. Again, I'll put the link to the, the website story in the description and pin it to the comments. Link to that patent as well in that story. So make sure you check that out. Also, check out our videos over here. Website down below as well, pickuptrucktalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.